Sometimes uh, when I lie awake in the night, I think of two men, in fact three men, who have always been at the heart of my legal career. One is a man by the name of Dato Sri Vijayakumar Chornalingam, who taught me how to plead, how to write. Dato Gopal Sri Ram, who taught me how to think like a lawyer. And there's another man called S.K. Sami. He is an insurance manager. He was the one who went and mortgaged his house so that I could go and study law. I was in the armed forces. I was a captain. I had to resign. I had no money. And one of my friends, Arthur Aroke Sami, called me and said, I've got an uncle called S.K. Sami. Would you like to meet him? So a meeting was arranged. I go there. His wife, Irene, is sitting there, a young family. And I say to them, um, I'm in need of money. I need to go to the UK. Could you please help? You know what he did? He took his house mortgage form. We ended up before a lady called Julie Wong in Hong Kong Shanghai Bank who gave me a loan to go to the UK. And he would pay off my installments. Although we paid from England, my wife was working. From the salary we used to pay off, he would pay it off just in case there was a delay of one or two days. And to this day, S.K. Sami, when he comes to my office, will never presume to cross my door. He will sit in the reception. He will show me the highest regard. But he was like a father to me. And when I finished my, my exams in the UK, I came back. I didn't have enough money to do the English bar. Although I was almost admitted as a student. I didn't have money. I came back. He gave me a place to stay in his house. His wife used to cook all my favorite meals. And for months and months and months, they put me up in that house, never took a red cent from me, never spoke about it, never said to anybody, I am the guy who helped him, none of that. He and Irene would rise in the morning. They would recite prayers. They were both Catholics. Mr. S.K. Sami would go to the photograph of Jesus and there was another one of Mother Mary, he would bow, he would meditate. And one day I asked him, why do you do this? He said, well, I'm asking permission to go out and do something free of charge to somebody so that I get nothing in return, so that I would help somebody. And I was a kind of man and I'm ever so grateful to SK Sami and Irene Sami for looking after me. And Arthur Aroke Sami from the Aroke Sami family, who also looked after us. I'm very, very grateful to them. So these three men have influenced my life. And when I think of these things, I think I've been singularly blessed. Thank you.